What a wonderful day outside. And you know what else is crazy? My birthday is today, and if you don't believe me, June 28th, happy birthday. I am 20 years old today. How crazy is that? Am I excited? Not really, because like I'm not a teenager anymore. But who cares, because I have a super, the best video of my career is about to come up, and it is, is the DS Lite still worth it in 2016? These are annoying, I don't even know why I still post them, but this is interesting because I got this on my 10th birthday, and it is my 20th birthday, so this is exactly 10 years old today. And uh, I got, this is the first game I ever got with it, was the new Super Mario Bros. It's already still in there, as you can see. And before I even talk about it, I actually wanna say, I have this GoPro right here, right? And no, I'm not giving it away or anything, but I don't even, use it. I'm trying to figure out what else to do with it. I'm trying to find good lighting. I'm trying to figure out what else to do with it. So if you guys have any suggestions, like I skateboard a very little bit. Like I know how to go forwards and backwards. So if you guys know what else to do with it, please let me know in the comment section. Like if you can screw this on the skateboard and probably skateboard. I don't know. I've seen people put on the helmets and stuff, but yeah, I don't really know what else to do with it. Maybe I will give it away if I really don't know how to use it, but I really don't want to. But speaking about the DS Lite, like I said, I got my t uh, 10 years ago. I still have the original stylus. It's held up very, very well. I'm surprised. You know, with gaming systems nowadays, I mean, it really depends how much you use it. I mean, I use this thing a lot. I took, I take rather good care of my uh, technology. The left button doesn't work anymore, which kind of sucks because, like, like you can't go left, and especially in new, new Super Mario Bros. when it's a side scroller. You can't go left, and it's not Nintendo's fault. My brother actually one time he was playing the mini games on New Super Mario Bros, and he got super mad, and he started banging this against his leg like this, and he just broke the button. So there's that. Here, let me put this on a tripod real quick. I lost the charger, so I haven't charged this thing in like years. Like I totally forgot I even had it, but I figured what better time to do it than on its 10 year anniversary. So let's go ahead and power up a game. It still has picture chat and everything. It doesn't have like internet browser or anything. Let's go ahead and uh, put some music on. Now, in like a second, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons, but I just want to play this because I haven't played this in forever. Anyway, pros and cons. So basically everything still works. It's a pretty solid device. Pros and cons. Let's talk about the cons first. The bad thing about getting a phone, uh, a phone, I'm so used to doing phone reviews. The bad thing about getting this DS Lite is that... You're, it's almost like a waste of money in a way because our phones nowadays can make or uh, can play games higher quality than what the DS Lite could. You know, so what's the, some people might think, what's the point of getting this when, uh, what's the point of getting this when I already have like a gaming device right here? And then some people might be like, you know, there's already DS emulators for Android phones. This is an old one, this is a Huawei Union. I got this for 10 bucks, by the way. If you haven't seen that video, link in the description, probably somewhere here. But uh, I, there's actually DS emulators for the Android. I don't know if it's for the iPhone, but for the Android, the Jurassic DS, that's a pretty good emulator. Um, it plays games pretty smoothly, I would say. And, you know, that's basically one bad thing about getting a DS Lite. Be like, okay, we already have everything here. But one thing I don't like about emulators is that the buttons are most of the time on screen. You know, so you're tapping the screen while you're, you know, watching the game and everything. And, you know, you're kind of disrupting the view of the game. Now, my, some people might, people might say, why don't you just get a Bluetooth gamepad? Well, you can, but that's like 20, 30, maybe even like 40, 50 bucks sometimes, depending on which gamepad you get. And you can pick one of these DS lights up for around that same price. Now, it's, not, it's probably going to come with a game or two. Uh, it's not, they're usually on eBay. I mean, they, there's usually a lot of bundles too. So it's for like, like 100 games or something like that, something crazy because they just like get rid of them. So it might be a little bit more expensive. But that's, I just like having a system in my hand, you know, something that, you know, I'm actually playing and I can actually, you know, press the buttons on and everything. Now, now, obviously, like I said, you can play the games and everything on here, but one thing I like the most about having a system is that, say I'm on a road trip, I won't be draining the battery on my phone as well, because I think the phone is a little bit more important than your DS, you know? So, you can be playing the games here, texting people here, watching, uh, listening to music here, and playing games here, and instead of wasting the battery on your phone, you can waste the battery on your DS Lite. I would rather have a system in my hand rather than, you know, playing games on my phone. Super cheap now, the system is cheap, so, and it still has a bunch of life left into it, honestly. If that left button was I broke I'd probably still be playing with it but if you can spend another 10 20 dollars more I would say just get the DSi XL you get so much more for the money you get like a bigger screen bigger battery more features I mean the features like are simple like this camera and you know web browser but you know, it actually has a 
marketplace as well, I think. So yeah, you could get a DSi XL. Those things are still wicked, I think. And yeah, that kind of ends this video. A little quick thing, I must say. I'm just going to start a new segment on, my, on this channel. Every Mondays and Fridays, I'm going to be making uh, iPhone and Android, like uh, like the top five Android games or top five Android apps of the week. So it's going to be like every week for the beginning of the week and ending of the week. That way you have something to look forward to in the beginning of the week and ending of the week. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, and that's going to be both for both iPhone and Androids. I don't know if I'm going to do iPhones on Mondays or Androids for... Fridays are just gonna do both of them at the same time, like top five for the phone, same phones. Cause whatever, I'll talk about it later. But yeah, that kind of ends me ends this video. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Comment if you guys have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That definitely means a ton. Add me on Snapchat. That is simple alpaca. Add me on Twitter as well. That is simple alpaca. Everything I'm um, on all social media. That is simple alpaca. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys like this video. I'll uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to have a good day and wish me happy birthday. All right, <laughs> bye bye.